This is Yanni Trader, and this is Midday Trading. So I'm going to take a look here and see what's going on with natural gas, with crude oil. And then we're going to take a look here at STZ, Constellation Brands. This uh, video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, Sunny stock, mod ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have natural gas, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, you can see here... We had a really, really nice run up series of higher highs and higher lows. Yesterday we had that inside day and then today we went half that candle. Okay, so today's high we're looking at is um, uh, 3.091 and then we look to the left here, 3.096. See this? This here is a double top situation. It could not get through that candle to get to the next level here, okay? So what we had, it came right on down, but you notice that right there. See how nicely they held that eight simple moving average? And that was your time to take a, a scalp here along. Okay, so what do we have here? Right now you're sitting at 2.96 which is if you look to the bottom of this candle here and you look to the top of there, that's that 2.96 level. Okay, so, so if it holds that on a, you know, on the uh, daily uh, for the end of the day, this would be very, very good here because all we do would just have a little retest of the bottom. Okay, now again, if it's lost, we want to do is we want to come over to the top of this candle. Okay, you're looking at that 2.92 and then we're looking at this eight simple moving average at uh, 2.908. Now again, if that is lost here, what we do is we follow these candles all the way down. So uh, we look at the high of that, that's 2.87. Uh, we come over here, you have 2.86, and then we can just follow this right here. You have 2.79, uh, we have 2.72, and then right here, this 2.73 is going to be very, very key. This is that 21-day simple moving average. That's going to be very, very crucial. But as long as we hold this 8-day, this is still looking okay here. This is trading. Now, again, with that big run-up like that, you can't expect it to keep right on rolling. But, again, if it did, then what we do is I just tell you we look to the right to the left of the chart here. So the high was 3.159. We just look right here. Okay, what do we have? Okay, you got uh, uh, 3.189, and then we have uh, basically 3.23, uh, uh, and then we have 3.37, and your brief test up there at 3.39. But all that here, I like to show you where it could possibly go, but you gotta close above this key level here at 3.159. Now, again, what we have here is looking like your, I, I pointed this out here, we had this negative divergence here on your RSI, okay? So you had this high, and we had a high there. We had an even higher high, but we had a lower high. See that? That's negative divergence. Always watch that. Because that's always like, you, you. I usually try to line up with different things like on your MACD, your RSI, and in your candlesticks to see where it's going to be pulling back. But when you see that, that's usually the start of something here on the downside, and there it was, okay? Now, your green is still over your red, so that shows uh, bullish momentum here. But, again, we got to see how this is all closes, uh, you know, for the day. That's going to be very, very key. It's going to be able to hold this key 2.96 is it going to be able to hold that 2.94 or you know is it going to lose this 8 SMA here if it does then we can follow the candles on but realistically your big target here is your 21 SMA here now when we look on a weekly chart here now it looks like we have a topping tail situation however we got the rest of the day and we got tomorrow okay so we got to see how that's all going to shake out here okay so this is what we got here so far so we made a pretty good run at the top of that candle at that uh uh, uh, 3.189, but you just couldn't quite get it, but that was your resistance level. Then obviously your next resistance level here is that 3.39 uh, situation. Now, what I do like about this, see this 8 SMA here? You cross the 21, you cross the 50 day, and now it looks like it wants to move right on up. If it crosses this, okay, this is going to be very, very good because that'll be good key support if this starts selling off right down. Now, our uh, MACD here, green above your red, still looking good. RSI here, plenty of room to run. Uh, so the key is going to be watch that eight simple moving average here. That is going to be key, but there was a nice good scalp right off that uh, uh, eight day. Now, let's take a look here on a one minute and a five minute chart. Okay, here we have your one minute and your five minute chart. Let me see if I can bigger up a little bit for you. Okay, so came right on down. You never want to buy that. You want to always buy the retest. Okay, so we had some good trades here, but this is what I was really looking for here because I could see that where you have that 50 day right above that. And then we have these candlesticks here. See that double top situation came right on down. And then, uh, uh, but it held 
this key support level here. So this was the trade that I took then and uh, UNG it ran it all the way and up here. I got out a little bit earlier on the situation because when I seen the the the, uh, the red candle, that's when I got earlier. Now you could have popped it up here, but now you can see that topping tail. Now she's coming on the way down here. But again, always wait for that retest. That's always very key. See the same way with here. And then we had that nice retest all the way down. And then you could have rolled it all the way on up here, all the way up to the top there. I just don't feel comfortable with the way natural gas is because you had so many good days. Now you need just a little bit of consolidation uh, and, uh, you know, on the old natty gas here, though. But let's just see if you can hold this situation. Uh, this is what you're looking for on the price channel-wise. We want to make sure that we can hold this level here. This is what you're looking for. That's going to be very, very key. If you can, okay, then we can do is maybe take that right back up to the top of this candle here. Okay, you're sitting at uh, a 2.99, uh, call it 3, and then we can maybe even hit that 200-day uh, here at 3.10. But right now, it just looks like it's in a consolidating phase. Very, very easy and just quick scalps is what the trade was today. Okay, let's take a look here at crude oil. Okay, here we have crude oil. Okay, so what we have is we have a tick chart. A one minute, a five minute, and a 15 minute chart. Okay, so I'm going to show you very clearly, and I pointed this out here. I don't know, maybe all the videos I did, maybe 500 times, but for some reason, people just don't understand what I'm talking about here. So we're going to show you again exactly. Okay, so when it sells down to here, okay, so it sold all the way down here, and you made a low of 77.67. Okay, and then what we had is it came all the way here. Okay, this is 7.45. Okay, you had a red candle. This here was 8 o'clock. See this 8 o'clock right here? See this? 8 o'clock. That green candle, that's what we wanted. Now, these go in 15-minute increments, okay, on here on the 15-minute chart. See how that is? So what you do is when you take that and then you run it all the way up here, not this candle here. You wait and see it's a topping tail. But then what we had here is you had another topping tail. As soon as that turns red, I'm out of the trade. Right here, you double topped in the situation, and now we're selling down, sold all the way down, and now it looks like we're trying to rally up again. Okay, so I can't make it any clearer for you. When you see the double bottom, you never take it first. Wait for the retest. See that? Eight o'clock retest right there. Boom. That's where you take the trade, and you run it all the way on up here. Okay, so let's look at it on a five-minute chart. No different. Okay, there's your bottom. Ran all the way up here, came down. Here's your retest right here, okay? When you see that green candle going to higher than the red one, that's the time you take the trade all the way on up here. And then when you see this red, you get out, okay? Now it came down, and there's that double top situation. When you see this, where you have this high, okay, of 78.87, and then you retest that bad boy, okay, at 78.87, and you can't get through, that's a double top, red candle, boom. Down she comes. Now she's going to try to rally up again. But you see this? Where it comes down, wait for it to come out. You didn't miss anything. Okay, it came all the way here, retested it. That's your trade. See this? Eight o'clock. Boom. Pre-market. Pre-market is your friend. Okay? Always, always remember that here. Very easy to hear to see on the old five-minute chart. Okay, let's take a look here on a daily and a weekly. Okay, here we have crude oil, your daily and your weekly chart. Okay, here we go. Now, basically a chart here is keep your charts simple. See this? These are just price channels. Now you can use uh, Bollinger Band, you can use Clouds. They're just nowhere near as accurate as price channels, basically because all they are is just the tops and bottoms of candles. Simple, okay? Keep it simple. This here is your eight simple moving average, 21 day simple moving average, 50-day, 100-day, 200-day simple moving average. Keep it simple. As far as this goes, RSI, MACD, you can also use a uh, volume. That always works very, very good also. But you can get a lot of good information here when you see these, the, like the MACD, you see that crossover, that's a buying opportunity, okay? Here, you always look for divergences. You get that relative strength, okay? Keep your chart simple. What I use is think or swim. They're the best. The rest of them are not the best, okay? Think or swim is the best charts, I think. So if you want to do what I'm doing, you want to make money, boom, contact Schwab, get the charts, done, okay? Simple, 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 okay? See what we have here? We had this big green-ass candle. We had sideways action, almost like a bull flag, except it wasn't leaning down kind of a situation. Now, 
I pointed out here, we're holding this key 21 day. That is the key. See this? Now I hold it up, you bounce it off. Now we're looking here to say maybe possibly we can hit that target up there. Okay, so this is why you put the, you trade the charts, look where that went, right into that 100 day. Okay, so when you get that, that's where you sell. Okay, that's the key. Now what we're looking for on the upside, right now you're sitting at 78.64. We're looking here for this A simple moving average. This is 78.55. We're just above it, okay? If we can get above that, then we can follow the can, these uh, 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 simple moving average. You have 79.40 right there. You got uh, uh, 79.64. And then we have your 100 day at 79.79, which lines up very, very nicely here with your 79.44, 79.74. And then on top of that, is your 8032. If you can break above this 79 level here, then we're looking at this price channel, you're looking at 8062. Okay, this is what you're looking for. Above that, follow these candles. Look to the top of this candle. Okay, see that? 8157. Okay, very, very nice. We'll come to the bottom of this candle here. You're looking at uh, 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 8240. Then we'll look right to the top here. You're looking at uh, 8330. We looked at the top there. 83.91, uh, and then we look for here. This is 84.46. This is going to be key because this is where your price channel comes across. Okay, these are your big targets. Very, very easy. Very, very simple. Trade the charts. When you see it's holding this 21-day simple moving average, get your ass into the trade and take it long. It doesn't matter if you make 10 cents, 20 cents, or if you make you know 10 bucks. You know what I'm saying? I trade 5,000 shares. It doesn't take much to make money, okay? That's the key. But just follow support and resistance. That's all you trade is when you're on charts is support and resistance, okay? That's it. That's it. That's all you do. You buy support, you sell resistance. You sell right into it, okay? If it goes higher, you can always buy it. Take it higher. You can buy strength, okay? Very, very easy. Now, another thing I want to show you here is on the left here, this looks like a left shoulder, a head. And then this is the right shoulder that could be possibly building. It's going to take time, okay? But that inverse would take you from there. You go to the neckline, would snap you right back up to that 87, uh, uh, 67 in a hurry, okay? So just watch this. Let this build out. In the meantime, trade this. You've got a good trade going here between your 21-day here and your 100-day. That's what we're trading right now until she breaks one way or the other. Look at this 8 SMA. Now, the 8 SMA was coming down. Now, you can see how she's curling up here. Look at this. Now, if we get that price above that, this is what happens. Okay? She goes higher. You get that price below that 8 day, this is what happens. She goes lower. Okay. Let's take a look here at Constellation Brands, STZ. Okay. Here we have Constellation Brands, STZ. This is one of my favorite trades here because what we have here is we have booze and we have weed. So what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> okay. So this is really in uh, uh, really good play because uh, booze goes, I don't care if you have a recession or if you have a booming thing, booze is always working. A lot of people with the weed here nowadays, you know, so this is, this is looking uh, looking pretty good. Now, what we're watching here, let's look at the downside first. We're looking at this eight simple moving average here, okay? So you're looking at 251.18. Right below it, you have that 21 day at 250.16, and then you have your 200 at 249.76. That's all your key support levels. If it goes lower, then you look at old sticky here, okay? You're looking at 248.32, another sticky at 247.26, which lines up, see that nice double bottom situation? And then you can, if you last lost, you come all the way down here to 243.04. Now, the upside, what we're looking for is right there. You're looking at 255.13, and then we're looking for this 50 day at 255.87. That's a key. Now, again, if you can get above all that, then we can just follow these candles here all the way on up here. And we have some really nice targets going on. You just take that price channel, come right across. Okay, so you got. 263.33, you bring that price channel across. What do you have? You got uh, 264.20, and then you have, take it all the way up here till we have your retest at 274.87. Now, this was selling off pretty good because you can see here, see where he had a high, lower high, lower high, and now it looks like you were making a bottom of situation. And if you look at this low right here, okay, 243.04, okay, it lines up pretty much really nicely with this area here at that uh, 241. So you have a really like a, 
a double bottom situation here in play. So let's just see if we can rally up. But the key is going to be closing above that 100 day and that 50 day. And then we can have all these really nice targets because as it was going down, that was support. And now it goes up. Now this becomes resistance, but that can just go from one to the next to the next, you know, like the, the old domino situation. So when you look on a weekly chart here, you can see how nicely it came down. But you're holding that key 100 SMA here. See how nice that is? Boom. Beautiful. Now we're trying to work its right on up here. So you got that 50 day at 251.98. Uh, they have that 8 SMA, 254.50, and then we have your 21, 255.89 uh, uh, here. So that all lines up here pretty nicely with what we have going on here. And then we can shoot this bad boy right on up here. But see, when you look at this, see you have that double topping situation. When you, Every time you see that, it's going to come down. But you notice that it hasn't, it held this support. And what I do like about this, see the low, higher low, higher low, higher low. Okay, this could have a really nice good rally and we could do trade these price channels here. The bottom 241.71 and then 274.87. So you got a really good range here of trading. Okay, that's what I got for you. A uh, little natural gas, a little crude oil, a little booze, a little weed, the whole nine yards. Okay, I'll be back here after pit close and uh, we're going to go a little bit more in depth on crude oil and natural gas. And remember, trade what's in front of you on the charts, not what you think is going to happen. That never works. All right. Thanks for watching.